pinned to Reed after he had spun. Looked like Reed was going to be able to racing outside of gone. Just went wide on him into yeah. the wall. You know, you can get sucked up in turn one pretty easily. Um, I think that's that's why it makes turn one a, a good place to pass is because there's not a lot of grip outside of the line. Um, so it looked like he just got up into the gray. Reed 13th when he lost control of the car. Jeremy Clements right, was 20th. Time. After, I mean, after they, you know, are they still under the yeah. Now, I'm going to wait a little bit, then I'm going to go to the first replay. Well, I'm going to report up until the first Well, I could just record not just do non stop well, from the original wreck to just not get a person. Red flag and then out. Out. Unless there could be too much time. Yeah, it was like the 15th Huge Huge time. I mean, I really wish he would have been. The inside wall, then like, from the replay, he was so close to hitting the catches, too. I'm yeah, surprised he didn't hit it. The 22 gets a great restart. The 19 Blake. blocks. They make contact and it look at the damage like, on the 19 car. A couple of damage to Patrick we, McFontaine we earlier this year. But instead of Casey Keene turning them, Casey Keene completely obliterated The 22 gets a big run. Okay, so after this report, I'm going to stop it on the next step. Big red. And the 22 really ended up getting a lot better out of this that situation. Was. Because yes. I, it looked as though Brad Keselowski laid completely off of it. The 22's teammate. Well, he wanted nothing to do. Peters loose a little bit on that contact and hard into the wall is Cole Custer. Same situation. He got loose underneath Brett Moffitt. Wow. Uh, you got fire coming out the back here. That was a big hit. See the winning net down. And a fire zone. As the laps wind down, you just start to take more chances and getting more binds. That was a that was a great move by Brett Moffitt. He pushed Custer down in the corner and then he wheeled up into that high lane that we see having so much grip and guys getting so much momentum up there. He drove around the outside of Custer. That got Custer loose. Watch this double zero get underneath the 11 and just gets loose. Yeah, the 11 is just going by him and and it looks like the double zero is kind of chasing his truck up the racetrack a little bit. He gets so close. They to the contact. 11, and they make a little bit of contact, and man, hard into the safer barrier for Cole Custer. Well, thank goodness for the safer barrier. Watch the angle. Bam! And again, it's amazing that more trucks didn't get caught up in that. Watch it from the 88 this time of Matt Crafton on board. You can see mopping around the top. Over here, up there in the middle. Trying to come back. We're going right here. Just stay straight, stay straight. Watch your inside, watch your inside, watch your inside. I bet you Crafton says, quit watching stuff from my truck. Yeah, this exactly. Getting a little bit. And I think it was a situation where Cole couldn't get away from the 11. I don't think he felt like he could turn the wheel to turn away from the 11 because he was loose to start with. Another opportunity gone for Cole Custer to win a race and secure a spot in the chase. He's just slowly, methodically trying to get a couple different partners to work her way closer to the front. She's latched on to the 22 of Logano. Caution is out for Casey Kane, who returned to the track after getting damaged in Dale Earnhardt's spin earlier. Just not a good idea to go in the garage, fix your car, and come back out. Doesn't look like, not today, anyway. We'll see this from way off in the distance. And uh, Kane's car down low on the racetrack. Oh, there he comes. Oh, something my. Wow. Yeah, man. Broke. Something broke. I, I'm not I'm not so sure he didn't just come off a of pit road. Or was he out there riding around for a while? But obviously something broke, maybe in the suspension. Yeah, the I thing don't just see. turned right. Tire didn't look like, I don't think that right. Up front and had come to pit road on lap 67. Take a look at what happens here. Daniel Suarez in the 19 coming up on the 42. 19 was trying to go to the bottom, and Brooks was going to the bottom, and 19 just needed to check up just a little bit and give him some room, and when he got the car overcorrected, it hard impacted the wall. Huge impact. Yeah, it is. You see how easy it is when that car starts to spin. You want to put turn the wheel to the right to keep it from spinning, but if you turn too much wheel to the right, 
it hangs a right and it makes heavy head on a contact. That shot straight up the racetrack after he overcorrected and Justin Mark's hard contact. Take another look. 3,400 pounds of race car off the ground after slamming into the wall. It's just not hardly in a race driver's makeup to just turn it left and spin the car out. But in those situations, that uh, many times is the, the best thing. You can see just how quickly this car snaps and goes straight to the right. Out there on the outside of the 19. Whoa! Wrecked down the back straight with the 19. Are you kidding me? Well, we knew that uh, it might be a little wild and crazy here at the end. Yeah, yeah, that would hurt. Damn, man. Give me a break. Who was that? That was Kyle. See Larson. Larson on the right, right coming up behind Edwards. Yeah, Sergeant he got right a little here. loose. Yeah, I think, yeah. You know what? I think you're right. I, I think Carl me, got a little loose. He was under the 41. That sucked him around just a tiny bit. The back end stepped out ever so slightly, and he had to check up in the 42. Tight in there. John Hunter Nemechek slipped back some spots. Four uh, wide. How about Johnny Sauter making a move for the fourth spot in that 21 oh, truck? Sideways. Oh. Townley and Nemechek get together, and the caution is out. More oh, contact. Yeah, about, got him coming out, crashing on the top, crashing on the middle. Big hit for Parker Kligerman. Yeah, he, John West Townley, who was trying to save his truck, made contact with Parker Kligerman, turned him straight into that outside wall. Talked about how hard these things are to drive in traffic, and that was a, a, a perfect example of it. John West Townley was clipped by John Hunter Nemechek, who it looked like might be got loose down on the inside. We'll have to look at a replay to make sure. Townley did a great job of hanging onto his truck, but uh, the oncoming traffic couldn't avoid him. This was just a wild scramble off turn two. Watch how close this is. Right there, John Hunter gets loose, hits Townley. Yeah, they actually squeezed him. Christopher Bell in the four in the 0-5 squeezed John Hunter. Johnny Sauter took advantage of it by getting down underneath him, but then John Hunter just couldn't hold on to it. Yeah, got loose and hit the... Look how close it was to Townley having his straightened out, but there was nowhere for Clickerman to go. What a hard hit that was. If Parker hadn't have come along to your screen, as Kyle Whoa. Bush. And around goes Kyle Larson. Ooh, man. Oh, Ooh. big impact. Man. Thank God that safer bear is there, but that was still a huge impact. Second caution of the day, lap wow. 48. That thing hit head on. Did you see it go up in the air, oh, DW? It reminded me of when uh, when Denny Hamlin wrecked down here off turn four a couple of years ago. Yeah, I see him moving around inside there. Now, coming, coming, coming. Oh, yeah, Ooh. you can see right there. Left yeah. rear tire goes out, and he's yeah. lost control at this moment. He's trying to keep it going straight. Yeah. Bam. It's the outside wall. This is the one that's going to hurt. Yeah, Watch this thing come down through here. Head on into that inside wall. There's Roof nothing flapped. he can do at this point. Just hang on. And Straight that, into the safer at, barrier. Watch that safer barrier. Watch that thing flex and shoot that car back out. Now you're talking about a 3,400 pound piece of machinery lifted all four wheels up in the. As you get back to second and third and fourth, the air gets worse. Not only does handling go away, but how does your car? You see the 18. A oh, huge up correction. in the wall. Kyle Busch in the 18. Destroying that car. Clearly had a, had a mechanical issue or a tire go down, and clearly that just something happened. It just something happened. Uh, yeah. Um, right here blew out. That, uh... We heard Kyle Bush talk about yeah. the right rear. Drop your window net, catch your breath. No rush. Communication from driver, crew chief, and spotter. Great to hear a driver after a hit like that. Great to see Kyle jump right up out of the car. Big impact. I mean, and, and we saw him. He drove in the corner. Everything looked calm. They were out there riding around as a driver. You don't expect anything to go wrong in this situation. You see him. He's drafting. Everything's normal to watch. See, the, there was a little puff off the right rear. He had to correct the car, and then he got a little bit too much right rear wheel turned to the right and got it up into the wall. But, you know, when a tire blows like that, it makes such an explosion. It's so loud. It first startles you. It scares you. Great move by Justin. 
Now, Joey Logano continues to drive back to the front. 14th already, Matt. That left front corner structurally sound, and they have repaired it with big oh. one. Oh, my goodness. The 25 hit hard. That's Chris Cockrum. Gosh, that's a hard hit. Scary, scary moment coming off a of turn two. Appeared to be the 52 of Joey Gase. Also got a piece of it. Damage sitting inside. Oh, that's, uh, a that's a great sign. The, oh, yeah. got the zero turns right into the 25. The Joey Gase is just an innocent bystander here. Oh, he just barely clipped that wall that jets out there, and that sent that car spinning like a top. Look at all the debris scattering. Smithley was just trying to help, and I think it, I think it pushed the 25 out a little bit. And when he tried to tuck back in line, it spun him around. That's something as a driver you really got to be careful of. Coming off of the corners here, where the banking falls away, the back of the, these cars get really, really light. So if you're, I mean, sometimes you don't have to touch the driver in front of you, but if there's any contact at all, you're going to see a result like we just saw. Such a tough break for Joey Gase. Remember last.